Welcome, dear travelers, to the captivating city of Asmara. Prepare to embark on a journey through time, as we explore the rich history and unique charm of this Eritrean gem. Our adventure begins at the heart of the city, Liberation Avenue, where the spirit of freedom and independence thrives. Asmara, once a bustling Italian colony, boasts a remarkable architectural blend of art deco and modernist styles. Stroll along the palm lined boulevard and soak in the vibrant atmosphere. Next, let's head to the National Museum of Eritrea, an impressive repository of the nation's heritage. Here, you'll marvel at ancient artifacts dating back thousands of years, each telling stories of Eritrea's past civilizations. Don't worry, we promise not to quiz you on historical facts. Now, brace yourself for a breathtaking view from the iconic Fiat Taliero building. Erected in 1938, it's an architectural wonder resembling an airplane. Legend has it that the Italian engineer who designed it had a wild dream of flying away from his daily engineering woes. But luckily for us, he decided to build it instead. A short walk away lies the beautiful St. Joseph's Cathedral. As you step inside, you'll be mesmerized by the stunning frescoes and intricate mosaics adorning the walls. Fun fact. Locals say that the best time to visit is during a sunny day, as the colorful rays of light create a heavenly spectacle. Oh, and keep an eye out for the resident cats. They are perfect tour guides. Time for a lunch break. Head over to the bustling Central Market, where the aroma of Eritrean coffee wafts through the air. Indulge in the local cuisine, such as injera, a spongy flatbread served with an array of delicious stews. Be prepared to use your hands for the full authentic experience, and don't worry about making a mess. We'll provide aprons. With our bellies full, we'll make our way to the Grand Ismara Opera House, a testament to the city's appreciation for arts and culture. Take a seat and let the splendid performances whisk you away to another world. You might even catch a performance that tickles your funny bone. Now, for a dose of history with a twist of humor, let's visit the Eritrean Railway Museum. Did you know that Eritrea once had a vibrant railway system? The railway was built by the Italians in the early 20th century and was nicknamed La Ferroviallo, meaning the Iron Dragon. But beware, some locals claim they've heard its ghostly whistle in the dead of night. Lastly, don't miss the chance to mingle with friendly locals at the Asmara People's Palace. This multi-purpose complex hosts various cultural events and gatherings. If you're lucky, you might stumble upon a spontaneous dance party. Just remember, dancing skills are optional, but enthusiasm is mandatory. As our adventure comes to a close, we hope you've fallen in love with Asmara's unique blend of history, culture, and laughter. Until we meet again, may your travels be filled with joy, and may your hearts be forever captivated by the beauty of this extraordinary city. Safe travels.